board members and members of the public. My name is Rita Luth. I am a parent of a child with a disability, not in this district, uh, but I am the director of community outreach for a nonprofit organization called Educate Advocate, who um, advocates for uh, students with disabilities to receive appropriate educational services. I wanted to bring to your attention an issue related to special education in your district and how the district is using education dollars to litigate against a child with a disability rather than to allocate those dollars to the education of the child. Uh, the aunt, who is the guardian of the child, could not be here tonight because she is working in order to pay for the private education services that the child is receiving in order for him to get a meaningful education. And those services have not been available uh, in the district's special education program, unfortunately. The case in question is CB versus Garden Grove Unified School District. It has been ongoing for many, many years. Uh, the Guardian first filed for due process some years ago and prevailed uh, at the Office of Administrative Hearing level, which is pretty much unheard of since only 10% of parents prevail at that level. The district then appealed to the Federal Circuit Court. The parent prevailed again. The district continued to mitigate to the U.S. District Court of Appeals. The parent appealed again. The district continued to litigate by taking the parent, by requesting a, uh, uh, make a motion to the Court of Appeals to have an en banc decision by all nine judges. The district was rejected, so the parent prevailed again. The district then took the case to the Supreme Court, and the Supreme Court has recently rejected to hear the case. Therefore, the last decision stands. But the issue that I bring here is why are we spending those tax dollars to mitigate against a child with autism when we could be spending those same dollars to educate that child by and make him a productive member of society. Now, I would like to read to you the very beginning of the Court of Appeals decision, which you can readily find online. And it says, after the Garden Grove Unified School District in parentheses district, repeatedly failed to provide a free appropriate public education to students CB as required by the Individuals with Disability in Education Act, IDEA, 20 U.S. Code 1400 through 1482. His aunt and guardian enrolled CB in a non-public program. The emphasis being on after the Garden Grove Unified School District repeatedly failed to provide the child with a free and appropriate public education. Now clearly, your special education department has dropped the ball. There are several judges that are telling you they dropped the ball. But there appears to be a personal vendetta or some kind of safe face attempt to continue li to litigate against this child and prove him wrong so that your administrators can be somehow exonerated from their mistakes. There's some kind of a deal with a litigator and an administrator trying to save face. Obviously, a litigator is going to advise you to litigate. There's a financial interest for a law firm that has gained over a hundred thousand dollars mitigating this issue. Those are tax dollars and this board should take an active role and 
get engaged in this process to dictate policy. Policy should not be left at the hands of an administrator who's trying to save face, who has clearly been proven wrong on many levels, and a litigator who stands to gain financially from this issue. So I urge you to make things right. It is time to move on. It is time to give this child the services he needs. And it is time to put the public dollars to good use in education, not litigation. Thank you. Thank you. Our next uh, speaker during the public hearing is uh, Christy Sepulveda Virtue. Thank you. 